At this point, I'm just going to briefly tell you about some of the shortcuts that you'll see me using. Often in Rhino, the Control or Alt or Shift key can be held down in conjunction with a mouse button in order to achieve different effects. Another thing that you'll see me doing is using the Alt key by itself, followed by the arrow keys, which as you can see here, allows me to scroll along my different menus. And then the down arrow key, right arrow key, the different arrow keys can allow you to scroll through the different menus and selections. Also, you'll notice when you see me click, a red splash will appear for a left click, and a blue splash will appear for a right click. A right click in Rhino will also execute your last command, which in this case was to open a new document. So it's asking me if I'd like to save changes. I'll press cancel. So for example, if I were to create a sphere, I'll select my sphere, highlight it, delete it. Now if I right click, that's the shortcut to execute the last command, which is sphere. So again, my Alt key, which can be used for panning, I can rotate, I can hold Control to zoom. I can also use the Alt button to get to my top row of menus here, followed by the arrow keys. And another shortcut you may see me use is in the command line here. Entering keywords will bring up a list of menu options that include the keyword that you've typed.